Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my second channel. If you are subscribed to this channel, uh, welcome back to the second channel. And if you're new here, congrats, you found my second channel. So one of my big goals for this year is to post on this channel more. Oftentimes when I'm making videos for my main channel, I run out of ideas and then it'll be like two or three weeks until I think of another idea. So I'd like to start posting more regularly on here, so even when I'm not working on a main channel video, I still feel like I'm getting something done. In the in-between times where I don't have ideas for my main channel, I'm kind of just like sitting around, hoping that one comes about. So a few days ago, I actually decorated my filming room, like I said, I've been putting off forever, and I made a whole video about it. It was a lot like the one that I made for the old room that I film in. It was just a video of me picking out decorations, putting them up on the wall, it was really fun. And then uh, I accidentally deleted the footage for the entire video. I messed up big time. And it sucks because that's not really a video I can redo because I drilled things into my wall. I bought things at the store. I can't just put everything back and pretend like I didn't already make it. It was not a good start to my New Year's resolution of posting on this channel more. So I figured, you know what? It doesn't have to be all that. You know, this channel, I mostly want to just be kind of like unstructured videos, videos I don't really have to plan. You know, just fun, fun little stuff that I can get on here and do when I'm not feeling like posting a big video on my main channel. So I tweeted. All right, since I deleted a whole ass video, I still want to make something for my second channel, so I think I'm just gonna do a nice sweet little Q&A, respond with some cues, or use the hashtag dancers. So this tweet currently has 1,021 replies, and I'm getting more every second. So for this video, I'm going to be responding to all of them, every single one. Just kidding, I'm only gonna to respond to the good ones. A lot of them aren't good. A lot of your questions aren't very good, so I'm just gonna respond to the good ones. The ones that I want to answer. The ones that make me look cool. Best memory with your clone, Drew? I don't know what my best memory with Drew is, but I do- uh, One funny story came to mind. One morning when Drew was staying with us while we were rehearsing for the tour, I showered and I went to put on my contacts, and when I went to pick up my contacts case, it was open and my contacts were gone. And so I went downstairs and Drew was down there, and I was like, hey, did you take my contacts? And he was like, oh, those were yours? Apparently we had the exact same contact case. And so he took my contacts out and put them on and was like, uh, these aren't working because we have different prescriptions. And then he threw them away. He threw away my contacts because he thought they were his. Which on the surface might make it sound like we are the same person because we have the same contacts case, but we actually had a different prescription, which is why he threw them away. Well, we had some really creative Questions in here. Why? God? Poo? Why? You guys are really bringing your A game to this. This is awesome. This one says scroll through your gallery with your eyes closed, stop on a random photo and explain it. Okay. All right, I got my photos up. I'm gonna scroll through with my eyes closed and stop and we'll see what it is. What is it? It's a video. I actually don't remember taking this, but it look, I'm zooming through a door and there's just box upon box of White Claw, the hard seltzer drink for adults, for grown-ups. Oh, Laura and I went to a concert with Curtis and Jenna, and I guess I saw this when I was there. I do not remember this at all. Uh, probably a little bit too much White Claw. <laughs> What's the worst thing about Twitter? Just all the, just all, all of it. Why did you move rooms? The little Nutcracker isn't happy now. Oh, I've, I've seen this question a lot, especially in the last video where I asked people what I should put up as decoration. I got a lot of comments that were like, why did he move rooms? Am I missing something? Did he ever explain that? Did he move? What happened? Um, actually, no, I didn't move. Uh, the reason I switched rooms is because I actually just found that room uh, in my house. I didn't know that I had it, but I was cleaning one day and I just found an extra room. And it's a lot bigger and nicer, so I just started filming in there. So, yep, didn't move. I still live in the same house, same exact house. Uh, I also found this room. I found a whole bunch of new rooms, actually. So every room that you see in my videos from now on probably uh, won't be rooms that you've seen before, but that's just because I, I just found them all. They were in the bathroom. I just need to know if you have a dark side. I've been wondering ever since I found out you were a Gemini. Yeah, I have a dark side. I smoke meth. What's your favorite song that you've made? Um, my favorite song that I have made is either I'm gonna kill Santa Claus or Help Let Me Go. Maybe Yummy, but I think it's too early to tell. But I think I'm gonna kill Santa Claus and Help Let Me Go are like the best sounding. They're the most like catchy and fun to listen to. Cause I feel like music that's meant to be funny has to be like catchy or like very fun to listen to. Otherwise it's just like a bunch of jokes strung together to music. And if it's like boring music, then that just makes it even worse. New EP soon? I assume uh, you're referring to an EP like of music and not EP short for 
episode. If you're referring to an episode, there's a new episode of this video coming very soon. No, I haven't really been working on like a longer project of music. I sort of want to just take it one song at a time for now. I feel like I'm sort of just in a phase right now where I'm trying to figure out like how I want my music to sound. So I'm not really ready to put together like an entire thing. I like releasing just like single songs at a time because I feel like I can put more focus into just that song. Are you planning to tour again in 2020? Um, Maybe. But we don't have any concrete plans to. I definitely want to do more live stuff. It's just like, the big thing is that it just takes up so much time. For the tour that we did last year, the We Are Two Different People tour, I was gone for like a month and a half. But there's already that huge chunk of time where I'm not really able to make videos as frequently. Then also for like three weeks before that, Drew and I were rehearsing. And then there was like an entire year before that that we were flying back and forth and writing it. So I feel like for almost all of last year, I was not really focusing on YouTube as much as I could have been and I was just focused on the tour. So I want to do more live stuff I really enjoyed doing the tour. I, honestly, it was one of the best experiences of my life But I want to try to focus on YouTube as much as possible this year and also just get better at doing live stuff on a smaller scale Before I like take it on a huge tour again I want to try doing more like stand-up stuff try writing more stuff like what drew and I did and just try to get better at it before Going on another tour again because I feel like every you know I should be improving every time and not just putting on the same show over and over so that takes time. What are your favorite types of videos to make? That's a good question. I, I really like making the commentary videos, but I especially like making them when it's more of me trying something that I'm doing commentary on. I first started dabbling in that when I did the trying Troom Trooms videos, but I've done a couple of other videos like that since. Like one where I tried making my own bedads. I really enjoyed that. So, and that's something that I definitely want to do more of because I feel like it's a little bit more fun than just me sitting at a desk talking about something. So that's the, that's the most fun thing to me because I feel like it actually has like a story and an arc and I'm like can I do this and then I'm doing it and then I figure out if I did it and I have a ton of ideas for videos like that planned but they all take a lot of time you got beef with any youtubers uh yeah Ryan's toy reviews I I'm coming for you dude you better watch out <laughs> just just beefing with a literal child I heard what you said about me dude I'm coming for you. Ryan's toy review diss track coming soon, baby. How tall are you compared to Lara? Uh, I'm eight foot five and Laura is two feet tall. How does it feel knowing that you talk to a camera whilst decorating an entire room, but nobody will ever see what you said or did? Damn. That's a low blow. <laughs> Honestly, it is upsetting because I thought that that was a good video. I actually thought it was pretty entertaining. I even had Laura come in at the end and give her reaction to the room and say what she thought of it. I also talked a bit to the camera about like what's going on with me and my life and now all that's gone too. The one thing I am happy about is that I fucked up my wall while I was drilling holes to put the shelf on and I hid them behind two pictures and so now no one will ever know that that happened. No matter how I edited the video, you would definitely be able to tell that I did that. So I'm glad that no one will ever see that even though now you all know that I did that, you'll never see it. Not a question, but can you answer these in the update corner? Uh, that actually is a question, and the answer is no. Fuck that. I hate that place. Did you ever expect to get where you are now when you first started Vine? Definitely not when I first started Vine, no. Some of you probably know this, but before I did Vine, I had YouTube channels in the past. Like, I've been making YouTube videos since I was in middle school, and then when I went to college, I sort of moved away from all of my friends that I made YouTube videos with. So I started making Vines, uh, cause they were like videos I could make by myself. I was like, okay, this fills the void in my heart that having friends uh, Phil, but no, I definitely never thought that I would have like millions of followers and even after vine ended I was like, okay, I'm probably done now And there was like a while where I thought that and I was like posting on YouTube and nothing was working And so I like went back to thinking okay, this that's probably done and uh, not gonna happen I'm still surprised that I have as many followers as I do and it doesn't seem real um, And it's probably not and it's probably all fake. What is your daily routine? Uh, I usually wake up Which video of yours took the longest slash most effort? Probably the one where I made the bedads and I advertised them all over YouTube. That one took a few weeks, I think. But I'm working on one right now that has taken longer than that. Uh, so I'm gonna say that one. And actually, I'm not sure if I'm even gonna post it because I haven't edited it yet and I kind of have a feeling that it's not gonna turn out very good. But we'll see. 
And if it does turn out good, then I'll post it and then you'll see it. Do you miss tour? I do. I miss a lot of parts of the tour. I miss hanging out with Drew and Curtis every day. That was one of the most fun parts of tour. It's just that I was like constantly hanging out with my friends. It was also fun making friends with people on the crew. They were all great. I miss, I, I miss performing. Uh, I don't miss getting really nervous before every show and not being able to eat. That being said, the entire time I was on tour, I missed my normal life a lot too. I missed my wife. I missed my dog. I missed my house. I missed sleeping in a normal bed. Someone asked, do you think Justin Bieber's song is about pedophilia? Um, sorry for kicking the tripod. I could just re-say the question. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna keep the part where I kick the tripod in. No. No, I don't. So, for those of you who have not heard this theory, you're probably very confused. There's this theory that I've seen a few people talking about. I think most of them got it from an article or just heard it from other people. That Justin Bieber's song, Yummy, and music video have a secret meaning and it's actually about pedophiles in the music industry. From the article that I read about it, it's mostly just talking about the music video and the promotion. It's not even talking about the song at all. The song is definitely just about his wife and his wife's private parts. The theory is basically like, well, there's pizza in the music video and the lyric video, so that's probably a reference to Pizzagate, which is a pedophile scandal conspiracy type thing. And then Justin Bieber posted pictures of babies on his Instagram with hashtag yummy. And then there's kids in the music video for yummy. I think that the whole thing is a very big stretch. Everyone that I've seen commenting about it are like, well, the song is actually calling out pedophiles. And if it is, then they did such a bad job of doing that. The only way you could possibly know it was about pedophilia is if you read an article about it, is if you happen to stumble upon this theory. Like, there's no way that you would just know by watching the music video. It's just like a regular generic music video for a song. And it's also not calling out anyone. There's no specific targeting. There's just like a pizza and some rich people and some children. I think it's mostly just like diehard Justin Bieber fans reaching for any possible other meaning aside from the super bland meaning that the song does have. Because they can't believe that Justin Bieber would make such a bad song apparently if it really is like some secret meaning about like Sex trafficking in the music industry. I also think that Justin should have just made a song about that Because that sounds super fucked up and just like hiding subliminal messages in a song isn't gonna do anything Just make just make a song about it then that would be received so much better than the song that you actually made. And sure, maybe it would ruin his career if, you know, the people involved are like at the top of the music industry and they can make it so he can never release a song again or he gets dropped from his label or something. But if you have information on pedophiles and you have $300 million and the only reason you don't expose the pedophiles is because you're worried about not making any more money, then fuck you. Tough question, Drew or Curtis? That's actually a not tough question. My answer is Gooby. All right guys, well, I've been sitting here for an hour and that's too long. So I'm done with this now, bye.